The room looks familiar. But it looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice setup for the district uh, virtual. Yeah. Well, well. Yes, it looks very nice. It looks better on a different camera. I can I can try. Let's see. You know, Chip, I think you should have done a little more product placement in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fine. Oh, that would be a fine, perhaps. But uh, since he's kind enough to provide it, I don't know how much of a fine. <laughs> That's true. We need to that 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 right? send you back. There uh, seems to be a new growth on Scott Brown. You can't see Scott? But, um, yeah. It was my other picture, which is oh. two months, three months, two months old. All right. Oh, okay. Yes. Some of you look right. better. Ready, Scott? Get everybody in. I'm keep going. I I let people in as we go. Right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start it then. Everybody ready? <laughs> well, good afternoon and welcome to Columbus Rotary. Actually, since that's my last time, I'm going to do it one more time since I forgot a few times here. I can take my mask up. All right, I can do that. <laughs> there, now they can even see me better and hear me better, perhaps. Well, welcome to Columbus Rotary, uh, my final meeting as president. So welcome to a changing of our guard, and thank you for all joining us today. Um, I'd like to invite past president Steve Heiser and now district governor Steve Heisdick to uh, lead us in the invocation and pledge of allegiance. Steve? Let us pray silently together each of us according to our own individual beliefs. Let us offer thanks for our food and blessings for each other. Let us be a source of hope for those in need and contentment for those who are lonely. Let us give gratitude for our opportunity to serve Rotary. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to all the past leaders of, of this club. Grant the wisdom and vision to plan adequately and act correctly for our new club president, Chip. From the ancient words of a Tibetan monk, the forces of light bring illumination to man. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. May men of goodwill everywhere meet in a spirit of cooperation. May forgiveness on the part of all men be the keynote at this time. Let power attend the efforts of the great ones. <coughs> So let it be and help us do our part. Amen. Amen. The pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Steve, District Governor Steve, and thank you all for joining. And thank you all of our guests and visiting Rotarians for joining us well today on Zoom. Thanks for your time. Uh, we will not meet next Monday, July 6th, so we're celebrating the uh, July 4th weekend there, and I uh, hope you enjoy uh, your week off and uh, figure out a way to do something fun in this COVID time. Um, the, final, the next meeting will be on July 13th, and that will feature Pete Crozier as he discusses his 50 for Father challenge. Um, we, we, um, so I do want to award some uh, a Paul Harris Farrell. So the president gets to award some Paul Harris Farrells, and I have another one to award today. And I'd like to award to Scott Brown. So Scott has been our, certainly our, our secretary and our uh, club uh, person here. And we have this here. It was uh, behind you. Behind you. That's it. That's it. Yep. All right, so Scott, so thank you for everything you've done. You've kept us through this COVID time. You've kept everything working, moving. You've made my life much better, much easier through this whole period. So thank you, not only for what you've done for this year, for many years with uh, for Columbus Rotary. For thank you for offer. With that, I'm going to award a, a Paul Harris Fellow to Scott. So thank, thank you. My guest today is Helen O'Mary. You probably can't see her, but the, my wife Helen is with us today. So thank you. There you go. <laughs> There's her hand in there. Good. All right. Uh, as, I, as I preside over my final meeting of the Columbus Rotary Club, I would like you to introduce you to the members of the board who are co completing their uh, terms of service. 
First off, past president Kellaway Robert is completing his year as past president of the board. So thank you, Kellaway, for all you've done. Two other board members that are on their last meeting are Anish Doshi and Mark Schieber. Um, and then I'd also like now to introduce you to 2020-2021 club officers. Uh, president Chip Chapman, his wife Rebecca, is here with his wife Rebecca. Uh, President-elect is Amanda Bowen. Vice President-elect uh, is Dana Vogemeyer. Treasurer will be Roy Leidick. And, and Scott Brown will continue to serve as secretary and, ex and executive director. Finally, I would like to introduce your club directors for the 2020-2021 Rotary Year. They will be Jim Bartha, Kathleen Lockrowan, Joanne Shorsten, Mark Lamont, Tracy Nahara, Renee Shumay, Amanda Engel, and Tim Magie. So thank you to all of you, all of you for your willingness to time and expertise you're providing on, the, on behalf of Columbus Rotary. I will remain on the board for one more year as immediate past president. Uh, and I do want to at this point say thank you for allowing me to serve this year as, as your president. It's been a great honor and a privilege. And, uh, and yes, things didn't work out quite the way we hoped the whole year, but it's, it's kept it interesting. And actually, as we've learned, we actually get more participants by uh, showing things on Zoom and Facebook than we were actually got in our typical meeting. So it's a, in some respects, there's a silver lining here. So thank you again for allowing me to serve. But this time I'd like to ask President-elect Chip Chapman to come over to join me at the front of the room. Yep, a few things here. First, you get your own gavel. You get to ring the bell. You'll be allowed to do that here at the end of the meeting. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Next, this is the theme poster for Rotary International for the coming year. So the theme is Ro Rotary Opens Opportunities. So Chip will have this uh, uh, at his meeting, showing off and reminding us all about the opportunities that we all get the opportunity option to invite more people in and for create more opportunities for each of us and for other people as well. Great. Thanks, President Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, and next. Now that this, this is a, both a great privilege, but there's, there's a little bit of an onus with this. This is the, the, the president. I know they can't see it on the screen. I'm going to hold up. This is the president. This is the same. President. This is one that has been passed down for decades. Uh, so that's I don't the, want to lose it. That's don't what you're lose me. it. That's <laughs> great privilege to have the president's pen. I'm just happy. You know, I got lots of witnesses seeing that I'm providing it. I'm going to let uh, your wife Rebecca put this on here. We'll set it down for a second. Okay. Maintain our social distancing a little bit. And do that. Me nervous to pick it up. <laughs> how old do we know? How old this pen actually is? Ask Nelson. Decades. Decades. It's been decades. The exact same pen worn by every president. Mm -hmm. So that's quite an honor. And with that, I now turn this meeting over to, to now President uh, Chip Chapman of the Columbus Rotary Club. So thank you, Chip. I'll get my out of the way and step aside and a uh, round of applause for Chip. John? Okay. Thank you. Oh, he's got the change. Okay, some messages from past presidents. All right. Are you using this one? I'm going to use the first one.
President John, this is when you dig into your joke repertoire. <laughs> I, I have more. Of, a couple of dillies. No, we've heard those. <laughs> I couldn't see that uh, chat comment, but Sounds is like the John's, comment that we're, we're, we're John's President true. John's putting chip on ice right now or something? He said, Scott, Scott's trying to make Chip feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> you can call me, people. I think it's working. OK, why do sharks not eat clowns? OK, so we need to stop somebody. <coughs> Here's to tell them to be quiet down. <laughs> I, I see CK's video, but I don't hear it. Really? Maybe CK needs to turn his volume up or something. Or on. Or on. Amanda says it's not working. They can't see it and they can't hear it. All right, so that's a challenge. <laughs> can't hear the video. Oh, we can hear you. We got you now, Chip. <laughs> you can see me and you can hear me. All we right. can see well, and we hear you, but we thought you guys were like taking pictures or something or just standing there super weird. We were watching the video. <laughs> we were watching the video. Working we at were this all one. in the chat, like, what are they doing? What's going on? Yeah, we're Is sharing there the something video. wrong? All right. Yeah, well, we maybe if we figure it out, we'll show it at the end. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to. Um, Take the opportunity to thank President John, past President John now, for his service this past year. And we'd like to present to him his plaque and his gavel. Plaque for his gavel. Thank you, Chip. All right. And I would like to ask Helen to come up and pin it. Yes. <laughs> You guys turn around so we can get pictures. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> we also have this we're supposed to present. Yes. Okay. So one more thing before you get away. All right. So from the club to you in memory of your year, the Rotary International, making connections, making connecting the world, and uh, hopefully you can find a place maybe out at the farm or at your home. All right, us. very good. Or a special place. Well, thank you very much. And thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Scott, do you have the next? Uh, We'll try. I have, I have a feeling. Let's see if we can get the technology to work here, folks. Let's try this. I'll bring up my script thing first. Oh, yes. Oh, they don't. I'll share that. <laughs> Just over top. At the bottom, if you just click on it. Gotcha. So during a typical change in the guard, the outgoing immediate past president Callaway would escort past president John around the room to be congratulated by each of the past presidents. So even in a virtual world, I still wanted the honor of introducing John to each of the past presidents of the Rotary Club of Columbus. So 
as we've already seen, you guys didn't see, we saw. <laughs> 1975 to 1976, Nelson French, who was also our district governor from 1987 to 1988. From 1982 to 1983, Bill Blaine. From 1987 to 1980, from 1986 to 1987, Chuck Nitsky. From 1989 to 1990, Dan Heinlein. From 1990 to 91, Dick Argo. My year, 97 to 98, Carol Garner. 98 to 99, Luke McCormick, who's also our district governor from 2006 to 2007. From 99 to 2000, Jeff Johns. From 2000 to 2001, Carl Family. From 2001 to 2002, Bill Lane. 2002 to 2003, we saw Bob Bowers on the video as well. From 2003 to 2004, Mike Schettinger. 2004 to 2005, Dave Rummel. 2006 to 2007, Keith DeVoe. 2008 to 2009, Rob Ernie. 2010 to 2011, Sandy Knazel, who's also our president of our foundation board. From 2012 to 2013, Jim Maniachi. From 2013 to 2014, Steve Heiser, and now our district governor. And if you didn't see the home of the district governor sign that we were uh, given yesterday as well as part of that ceremony. 2014 to 2015, C.K. Sachipriya. 2015 to 2016, Tricia Strahler. 2016 to 17, Jack Graff. 17 to 18, Paul Blevins, 18 to 19, Callaway Robertson, and now 2019 to 2020, past president John O'Meara. Mm -hmm. All right, so thanks again, John, for your service to the club this past year. As you said and already noted, we've had a number of challenges to deal with, but as past district governor Gary Vaughn stated yesterday, we were resilient, we were resourceful, and above all, we were Rotarians. So we have a, a rotary video. We're gonna try to play it, and we'll see if you guys can see it. So let's try it. Hopefully you can share it and see it. Fan for me. Fan. Yeah. <laughs> so the one thing while we're doing that, I would like to introduce, so we'll, we'll see if we can get the video up. So I have my parents here, Alan, Virginia, Chapman. I want to have my kids come up for a second. Come on up. Joe and Emily. So Joe uh, went to Germany on youth exchange and Emily went to France uh, for youth exchange. And so they've been very involved with the Rotary Club and will continue to be. And as most of you know, Emily joined earlier this year, and I believe she's our youngest member in the club right now. And uh, she has agreed to uh, help us in, in running the program committee this next year, taking over for me. So I'm very proud of her, very proud of both of them. Joe is finishing up, uh, just finished up his sophomore year at DePaul and uh, will be returning to Chicago in the fall uh, for his junior year. So anyway, two great current young future Rotarian and future Rotarian and uh, so I just wanted you guys to meet them if you hadn't met them before so thank you guys love you. We actually practiced this this morning and it did work. I promise you, I promise you it worked. You guys see this, hear it? Can't hear it. You see it, but don't hear it. You can see it, but can't hear it. See it, can't hear it. Interesting. All right. It's okay. If they can't hear it, we'll just. We'll have to work on this for another time. I'll bring this back another for a different meeting. That's fine. If you'll flip back to the other Scott, we'll be good. So
So even with all the technology in the world uh, and all the skills in the world, and even with practice, everything doesn't run perfectly. So <laughs> we'll figure it out for our next meeting. Can you show me my other uh, screen for me? All right, well, so what was nice about the videos, they talked about the impact of Rotary and, and speaking of impact and serving the community, I'd like to introduce our foundation president, Sandy Knazel, to present the annual allocation check to the club. Thank you, President Chip. Everybody's getting my, my audio, is that right? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So as you know, each fall we uh, conduct our annual services campaign. And uh, in addition to those monies that we raise, um, we were fortunate that uh, so many of you also uh, contributed to our soiree, uh, virtual soiree uh, with the uh, Columbus Foundation. So we were able to maintain well, our usual amount of money that we give to the club service projects. Um, in addition to those uh, monies, we also receive monies from uh, Friends of Rotarians, as well as um, we have uh, the Cap Ingalls Fund that uh, throws off some money uh, from investment earnings. So with that, I am so proud, and on behalf of all the Rotarians and our friends, to present $113,711 to Chip Chapman for our club services projects uh, next year. Wow. Yeah. Check. <laughs> we'll spend it well. <laughs> I how to do that. That was magic of TV. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, Scott, if you'll flip back, we'll be appreciate it. Sandy, I really want to thank you and Tim and, uh, and all the hard work of the rest of the team. You guys did an amazing job last fall with the annual campaign and even with the down market due to COVID. And, and like you said, everybody's recent uh, contributions to the big give, uh, we were able to replace those missing Derby Day funds. So uh, I'd say we did pretty darn good. So Sandy, uh, you know, it's, it's truly amazing what lives we can touch when we work together and, and we're creative and, and we work around. And, and that's what we're gonna have to do again this year. We're gonna have to be creative as Nelson was mentioning earlier. Uh, past District Governor Gary Vaughn shared with us yesterday that the 125,000 funds uh, from the district that went to the Mid Ohio Food Bank, and with their 10 times leveraged food buying power, that equated to over 434,000 meals. Which means, if you look at the $17,000 that we were able to redirect uh, due to COVID, past President John and your board approved from last year's funds in April. After those being matched with the district, that equated to somewhere over 117,000 lives or 170,000 meals uh, that we were able to uh, make happen in a time of big time of need. So Sandy, again, thank you and the foundation board for all your hard work. Um, next, I would like to, um, as President John presented Scott with a Paul Harris Fellow, Every year, the president is allowed to honor persons that have special meaning or have impacted their life and community and uh, by awarding up to three Paul Harris Fellows. So it was a great, great honor. Um, I'd like to invite my parents to come up. Right around here. So I'm going to word Al and Virginia Chapman, a Paul Harris fellow, for all their love and support and getting me to this point. Thank you guys. Thank you. And then Rebecca. I would also like to present you with a Paul Harris Fellow and pen. Oh, wonderful. Do I get my hug now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and thank, you for, thank you for all your support and time and effort and being my partner the past 30 years. So. Always. All right. mm -hmm. Love, Love you. you. <laughs> I knew that'd be the tough part of it. <clears throat> all right. And I'm going to save my third one for another time. Um, so now for, for my remarks for the club board and, and members. 
Well, first, I'm very honored to serve as your president for the 2020-2021 Rotary year. I want to again thank my wife, Rebecca, who always has my back, whatever crazy adventure I decide to take. Uh, many thanks to past President Calloway and immediate past President John for supporting me and preparing me for the upcoming year. And to the newly installed district governor, Steve Heiser, for encouraging me to expand my thoughts and thank Big for my, my and his Rotary year. And to all the other Rotarian friends who have called and emailed me with words of advice. To my longtime great friend, Mike Schettinger, who invited me to join Rotary almost exactly 23 years ago today, when I was only 30 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm also very grateful for Ann Rostin and Dana Vogelmeyer's Rotary spirit and hard work in leading the strategic planning team over the past two years. As I spoke about last week at the club assembly, this year is all about working with our great team of leaders to kickstart this plan and get the Columbus Rotary Reel flywheel spinning. But in reality, it will take all of us working together in order to make this happen and keep it spinning. Recently, I'm going through some of my collection of books. I don't know if some of you know that we had a flood at our house and so that required us to go through a lot of personal belongings. But I came across a book from my collection that I hadn't thought about for a long while. Um, William H. Danforth, a contemporary of Paul Harris, founded the, and he founded the Ralston Purina Company in St. Louis in the late 1800s. Uh, he also created the American Youth Foundation and was the author of this little book called I Dare You. This book was first published in the 30s and it was really designed to encourage high accomplishments in young people. Some of you may have read it. Uh, originally, it was used for the benefit of his company, uh, his family, and his personal friends. And each copy of the first edition books were said to have been passed around and shared many times. And the idea spread and inspired people of all ages and walks of life. It was a practical plan for action for everybody who wanted to go somewhere, be somebody, and be of service. Many, many years later, I was fortunate to receive the I Dare You Award for my high school in 1984 for qualities of leadership. And I also received this book, which was the 29th edition of the I Dare You uh, printing. But the original Danforth challenge still stood, aspire nobly, adventure daringly, and serve humbly. Now it appears in my research, Mr. Danforth was not a Rotarian per se, but he certainly fit the profile. Many of his book's principles, though dated somewhat in language, as my family would attest, still apply today and can certainly apply to our Columbus Rotary Club. So with a little liberty to the beginning of Mr. Danforth's book, I'd like to share some thoughts with you. It is difficult to put a challenge on paper. I would rather look you straight in the eye and say, I dare you. In my mind, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm on this side of the table, or in this case, this side of the camera, and you are on the other. And I'm looking across at you and I say, I dare you. I dare you to invite a guest to one of our Zoom meetings. I dare you to join a new committee this year. I dare you to invite a friend to join us for a service project. I dare you to dig a little deeper and give a little more to the annual campaign this year to help fund all of our wonderful service projects for Amanda's year. I dare you to sit at a different table. That's the next time we get to meet in person. I dare you to take a new member under your wing and teach them the rotary ropes. I dare you to consider a committee, a committee leadership role. I dare you to help Rick and our fundraising team target outside corporate sponsors and donors. I dare you to help Amanda and the services team come up with virtual projects we can complete during these COVID times. I dare you to participate in one or more service projects this year. I dare you to consider Rotary in your estate planning. I dare you to share a social post about a Rotary meeting, speaker, or event. I dare you to host a small, safe social event this summer in your backyard and welcome some of your fellow Rotarians. I dare you to help us raise as much or more funds from outside the club as we do inside the club. I dare you to call a Rotarian you haven't seen in a while just to check in. I dare you to take a picture or short video at your next service project and send it to me. I dare you to attend the next club social event. I dare you to help Dana and our membership team meet our diversity goals in terms of race, gender, age, and classifications. I dare you to sponsor an up and coming young professional for their first six, six months dues so they can learn all about Rotary and why it's so great firsthand. I dare you 
to recommend a speaker you've heard or a topic you think your fellow members would like to hear. I dare you to help us get back to a 300 member club. I dare you to have fun with Rotary. I dare you to work together to educate ourselves and others to help dismantle systems of oppression and create a world, a more just and peaceful world. I dare you to continue to share your talents with and for the good of the club. I could go on and on, but hopefully some of these I dare you thoughts have resonated with you. One for each of my Rotary years. The real question is, will you dare yourself? Will you pass the dare spirit on to others who could not be with us today? What you do today and in the immediate days that follow is the thing that will prove whether or not you possess the spirit of the few who truly dare. I want to thank everyone in advance for daring with me this Rotary year. Have a great week and happy 4th of July, and we'll see you in two weeks. And... <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Chip. Good job. <laughs> I accept your dare. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All the best. Congratulations, Chip. Chip. Up the whole time Congratulations, Chip. Thank you, Chip. Congratulations, Looking Chip. Forward to your year. Yeah. Congratulations, Congratulations, Chip. Chip. Congratulations, Chip. Good job. Chip. Bye, everyone. Well, well dare you to show up on the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 4th, everybody. Take care. Take care, Charlie. Oh, somebody had it. Everybody. Somebody made a note. They had a copy of I Dare. John, John Mariotti had one. That's not surprise okay. me. Yeah, but he even found his. That's oh, great. Oh, yay! There it is. Now. <laughs> that does not surprise me. That John Mary When I graduated from high school, Chip. Yep. I still had it, and I had it right in front of me here. There we go. Great book. Here's your mom. Let's see Rebecca's <laughs> line. Mother in law. Oh, yeah. There she is. Muted. Okay. <laughs> she's talking. Uh, she doesn't know she's muted. Delma, you're muted. <laughs> you to turn the mute off. <laughs> now you're good. No, nope. still muted. You gotta push the mute button. She's trying to get her unmuted, but she's got there she is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so my mother in law is recovering from knee surgery. At home. Can you hear me, Delma? He's breaking up. Oh, I know it's gone, hey, everyone. Uh -huh. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.